Hey everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my channel and hanging out with me for today's video. So today's video is actually unplanned. The video that I had planned for today is just taking 17 years literally to upload to YouTube. It is so frustratingly slow to upload anything in this house. So actually in the video that I'm waiting to upload, I actually mentioned that I don't think we're going to be staying in this house for uh, any longer than the absolute minimum that we have to because some of the things that are wrong with the place and the internet upload speed being one of them. It is so, so frustrating and I don't know how Telstra, who is like literally Australia's national internet provider, how they can have such a lousy, lousy service for upload speeds. For downloads, it is to totally perfectly fine. Freddie's just scratching in the background if you can hear anything. He's going a little bit cuckoo because we just got back from our walk and he gets a little post-walk burst of energy. So if you can hear anything scratching in the background, that's just Freddie over there. Anyway, today's video, it is still uploading. It's taking forever in a day. So I thought I would just pop on and just quickly give you an update on a couple of things, including something that's been helping my productivity and my routines so, so incredibly. And that is all of the planners that I have designed and developed and that are on my website now for free downloads for you guys. Freddie Bear, please, little one, come here. Hey. Can you be, can you stop being a rat bag for five minutes? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here and say hi. Oh my goodness, he's just got too much energy right now. We went for a walk and he had a little accident and he had a little, he had a little incident with the some things getting stuck to his little fur bum so he had to have a little bath when we got home and every time he has a bath when he, anytime he has a bath out don't bite me anytime he has a bath he just goes absolutely hyper for about 15 minutes afterwards so i should have known better than to try and film a video just after freddie's had a bath but anyway i'm going to pop him down and hopefully he will be a little bit quiet so we can get on with the video all right, so as always saying, my productivity and my routines is something that I have been really working on a lot lately. And to do that, I have developed a couple of tools which has helped me in so many areas of my life. So I have mentioned these before and I have had some other kind of pilot versions available for download on my website. But now I've kind of refined them and I've just put out like a few different types, a few different types of planners in the, the range or like, I don't know what you call it, a range of planners. Anyway, I have them up on my um, website and I just wanted to run through them with you. And I just wanted to run through them with you and let you know that they're there. They are completely free for download. There is absolutely no charge. You don't have to sign up. You don't have to give me your email address or anything like that. It's just, I developed them for myself and I figured if I've made them, I may as well just put them up online and it have them available for you guys to download if they help you out at all. I know whenever I have mentioned my planners or my routines or my cleaning schedules or anything, got Freddie's fluff or something on me, uh, people have always asked if they could get a download of it and usually I have just like either emailed them out a copy or said that you can kind of download from the internet where I've shared it uh, but now they're actually up on the website able to be downloaded as PDFs so I'll run through with you how you download them how you save them and how you can print them out and a couple of ways that you can use them in your day-to-day -day life you can uh, of course use them as a printed piece of paper that you write on and you use it as a daily planner. You can also actually laminate them and then you just use a regular whiteboard pen and then you can use them and reuse them over and over again and they just wipe off with a tissue. So let's go and have a little look at the planners. Yes, little one, I can see you. Come on, come and say hi again. Hello, hello. I just need my mom to play with me and play ball. Hey, be nice, be nice and be good. Freddie, leave it. I'm gonna run through all of the planners and all of the little tools. So there is a monthly schedule, there's a daily planner, there's a meal planner, um, there is a morning routine planner, there's a habit tracker, there's two kinds of shopping lists and there's a habits and goals like list. So there's tons of tools on there to help you with your productivity and your routines and they're all in one kind of range at the moment which is like a floral type look um, but I am in the process of working on a couple of different versions so something that is more minimal and blush and then something that is also more minimal and kind of black and white so if florals aren't your thing and if blush isn't your thing I've got you covered uh, it just takes a little bit of time but I'm really enjoying it and it's like something that I like doing like that kind of graphic 
design side of things. It's been a really nice learning experience for me also because I have learned a little bit more in depth on how to use my website, how to upload things in PDF format so that they're easily available to be downloaded for you guys. Uh, so it's been a good learning experience for me. It's been something a little bit different for me to be able to do, like a bit more of a creative outlet. Uh, so I hope you enjoy and now let's uh, stop rambling and stop getting bitten by Freddy in the background and um, have a look at these planners. All right, let's go have a look. So you just go to the sundaystylist.com and then there is a little tab, printables. You click on that, it will bring you through to all of the printables that I have made that I've just uploaded. So say for example, you wanted to do a monthly schedule, you just click on it and it will pop up with this screen where you can either download it or you can print it. So you can download it and save it and then print it out any time you want, or you can just print from this screen. When you download it, you can open it up in any application that you've got on your computer, and then you can just print from there. And obviously you can print, you can play with the print settings to be able to either fill the entire page or do it in portrait or landscape. I wanna print the entire image, and then I'm just gonna send it to print. So once you have got what you want downloaded, you can print that out. And then I'm gonna show you how you can also laminate it and use a whiteboard marker on it. So very simple and very easy to be able to reuse. Uh, for my monthly schedule planners, I like to use just the paper version and then I just use a pencil and change things around. Uh, the reason being is because I like to have three months in advance at one time and then I can you know, schedule things that are coming up in the coming months and not just have only one month at a time in use. Uh, okay, so I've got a meal planner and a monthly schedule printed out. So I'm just going to laminate these just to show you how you can use them. But then there's also all the other things like the daily planners that again you can print out. You can print out in this um, size. This is A5 size, but you can also print it out so it is full page A4. And again, you can either use it just as, as like paper and print on it, or, or you can laminate it and then you can reuse uh, each one with a. And then once it's laminated, shh. And then once it's laminated, you can just use. Oh my lord! I have the world's noisiest printer anyway once you laminate it you can then write on it again and again obviously with a whiteboard marker and then you've got these ones which come in this size which is kind of like a dl size which is uh i've got one for habits and goals and so then i've got the shopping list version in the a5 size and i have like printed them out and you know tried writing a list on it now obviously if you're going to the grocery store and you're buying a thousand things you might need a bigger size printed out of this, so you might want to print it out in the A4 size. But if you've just got a regular standard size shop, um, I find that when you do it half and you can put two to a page to print off two, you can easily fit everything that you're going to be buying on one shopping list. There's also a shopping list that comes in this kind of format too, so if you don't like it categorized and you just want to like a list of things, there's one that you can print off as well in that size. If you uh, don't want to be using paper printouts each time, you can also, again, laminate these, use it as a whiteboard. You can put some magnetic tape on the back and stick it to your fridge or to a whiteboard. And then when you do make up your shopping list, you, uh, you don't want to take a laminated list to the supermarket. So just snap a photo of it and then take it with you to the supermarket. Or as I do and as I always advocate, do your grocery shopping online so that you can stick to your budget and save and make the absolute most of your grocery budget. If you want to have a full A4 page uh, daily planner, that is how it comes out. So heaps of room to write if you've got really big handwriting or if you just like a big page. This is how I would say to do it if you wanted to laminate it and just use one and reuse it again and again. If you wanted to print it out as like just paper, all right, so I've just popped up onto the website one that is already double planner. So there's two planners on the one page ready to print if you do prefer using like a paper version, uh, just to make it a little bit easier for you. Okay, so now there it is, the double planner. So two on a page, you can click on it and then it is just ready to print like that so that when you do just say print, just print directly to, to a page, ready to go. And then you can just use a guillotine or a paper trimmer to, or a pair of scissors or a ruler to just split the page in two. And then you've got two uh, each time you print and then there's no paper wastage. 
Right, so one of the things that I did notice on the first kind of test pilot versions was that some of the things I had on the daily planner I wasn't really using as much as I probably could and that was like the water intake tracker and I had I think like eight glasses you know how they're typically there and you just tick off each time you have a glass I never filled it out so I just replaced that whole water tracker thing with a healthy habits prompt so I have got online um, just some pretty stock standard things. So I've got the glass icon just as a reminder to drink your water And if you hit your daily target, you can tick it off I've got a little weight so that could be anything that is like a healthy habit So any workout or movement or going for a walk or anything once you've hit your target for the day Just tick that off. Um, I've got supplements, but that could be anything that could be like eating healthy uh, And then I've just got a little book or journal So that could be something that is you know some positive self-care time So either that could be journaling or meditating or reading or just doing something something that is you know not screen based just something that is good for you to do um, to you know really just work on your mind and give you a little bit of positive time in your day and then I have got one that is really really important for me and for anyone it should be and it's just like a little sleeping mask and that is just to um, just be that constant little reminder that is front of mind front of eyes front of mind to remember to make sleep uh, priority of yours and just to you know incorporate sleeping and a good bedtime routine into your daily planner so I have been really enjoying having that little prompt there to remind me throughout the day and I use it a ton more than when it was just like eight glasses of water which I would kind of start off and tick one or two off um, but then by the end of the day I just wouldn't do it uh, now I'm just gonna run you through how I use it obviously there's the date and you can circle the day to know which one it is uh, then you've just got your basic to-do list obviously and then there's space to put in three of your daily priorities so today's priorities top three the three things that are most important if you've got any shopping or errands to do uh, there's a little spot for that and then this is something that I really like and I used to do this when I would bullet journal and it was kind of like my to be list so you've got your to-do list but then there's also things that you want to focus on like to be so you know personality traits or things that you are wanting to work towards and then there's a little score out of 10 and this is something that a previous boss of mine the GM of the HR department back when I used to work at RSL um, Alana incorporated and she used to do this thing at the start of every meeting we would just whip around the circle and just give a score of 1 to 10 of how we were feeling that day so I really love incorporating that how am I scoring myself out of 10 not only just on how I'm feeling every day but on things that I want to work towards so if I want to work towards I don't know kindness patience and gratitude I will put those three things down to be focus of what I am going to be doing for my focus for the day and then at the end of the day you just do a little self-reflection and I it's so important to do self-reflection because you can have you can start out your day with all of these grand plans to be you know this that and the other and to be so productive and to work towards your habits and goals but if you don't reflect at the end of the day then you've got nothing to sort of measure your progress against and there's nothing to sort of hold you accountable and say well did I actually do it or didn't I so I think that just having that little scoring that little self scoring out of 10 is a really nice way to just wrap up the day and just to remind you um, just to remind you to work towards those goals and if you do you know if you don't hit 10 out of 10 every day I mean you're not gonna hit 10 out of 10 every day but just giving yourself that little score is it just makes you think about it and make you reflect about the day and see how you actually did do in those things that you are working towards so have I done my best to practice you know kindness patience or gratitude if I have I'm gonna get a high score if I haven't I'm gonna you know give myself the score that I deserve but it will be a little reminder and maybe a little kick up the butt if you need it to focus on that in the future um, you know so that you can improve your little daily score all right guys so that is it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it it was a little bit of a last minute video that I has popped together I was planning on doing this but in a whole different style of format um, later on this month but since we've had some technical difficulties with the internet here this is going to be up and online I'm sure it'll be a really short easy to upload video so the next video that's coming for you is a really really long video I think that's why it's taking so long to upload and it is my uh, complete garage transformation so a complete process over the past three months where we have been just kind of plotting away at it something that I've been really meaning to do since we moved in here and then with just all the changes that have happened obviously we got Freddie so I didn't want to spend like hours at a time down in the garage either having him around as 
as a little puppy kind of getting under my feet um, or having to leave him up here you know again for hours at a time so it's something that I've just been like making steady continual progress uh, towards the ultimate goal of having an organized decluttered garage space which I've I'm gonna say I'm about 85% achieved. I think there's a little bit more decluttering to go and a little bit more organizing, but at the moment um, It's really pretty good down there. So I'm really happy with it uh, Again, lots of changes down there in the recent few weeks or month or so So you know that if you are a regular viewer of my channel I took the laundry nook that was in the kitchen and I relocated it down to the garage so that made a huge change in that space and I needed to redo the organization again to accommodate for that space down there but that is a really good video and i'm sure that's going to be motivating for heaps of you if you do need a garage clean out and you should see how much stuff we have accumulated decluttering this year so that's been one of my goals for this year to declutter 21 things because it's 2021 21 things on the 21st of each month so just as a reminder by the 21st of each month i've got a little reminder in my phone saying hey declutter your 21 things and i had been saving them because i was going to do a video on all the things that i decluttered through this year but the pile got a little bit too big to fit so uh, i've had to pack it up all in the car and take that off to the charity shop so uh, that is coming out to a YouTube video very very soon So be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because you do not want to miss that video Right guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy using the tools I know that they have helped me so so much monthly planner I use every month month in month out meal planner You'll know because you've been watching my meal prep videos and all of my grocery haul meal prep meal planning I've been using that and that has saved me time that has saved me money that has just saved me my sanity from having to do that daily decision of what are we having for dinner what are we having for dinner so by like probably my most recommended thing if you download one thing from there it would be give the meal planner a try I never used to be like a hundred percent like on the meal planning bandwagon but now since I've been consistently doing it this year I don't think I could go back to old daily deciding, daily grocery shopping, daily challenge, daily decisions. Um, it's just all too much. So I would say even just for, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, maybe just prep out those meals and plan those meals. Just get through, you know, like the regular school week. And then by Friday, you know, not, not such a big deal. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you can just wing it or, you know, have takeaway, have leftovers or whatever. But I think just having those weeknight meals sorted has just taken the pressure off so, so much. And I think you will like to have that too. All right, guys, again, enough rambling. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you think you're gonna get some use out of these, be sure to um, uh, return the favor and give this video a thumbs up and don't skip the ads. So I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone. I'm somewhere in the middle Try to find myself again But life is one big riddle